Hey, what is going on YouTube? Aeon here, back with another informational type video, however you want to call it, and we got shards v spawn. Oh, so whatever we title this video, it's just going to be me, you know, playing the game and seeing what I get throughout the game. Let's see if we can blind fire their spawn. I love being detected. I love being detected right off the bat at Shards B spawn. I can't tell you how much fun I'm having right now. Ah, but one of the things um, that I notice a lot of people doing is not, you know, understanding their ship and, and realizing its strengths and weaknesses. Um, the Charles Martel, while getting set on fire twice, really, Jesus Christ, excels at um, the, the agile type. Speed, you know, range, different things like that. Um, it's not necessarily a bounce tanking heavy cruiser, although it does have, you know, 203 millimeter guns. Um, so playing this thing in in close, you know, can yield you success, but you're going to have better results playing at the mid range using your speed boost and agility. So that's why we have, I think, one rudder shift mod with as well as Baltimore on this ship. Um, now we got a little lucky there that we didn't get broadsided shooting, but this is the shittiest spawn in the game. You can't convince me otherwise, and it still needs to be fixed. I know wargaming is working on it, but to to have the spawn still still like that even after you know like fixing it is just kind of is laughable but we see the Suzuya not really realizing that he's a similar cruiser to us and we're gonna try and make him pay with our 203 millimeter and yeah. AP on this thing absolutely slaps he's trying to get a torp run off which he might be successful in our DD died a little behind but he's hiding outwards angling away avoided that shot we got a little bit lucky that's RNG is he turning in? yeah he is Okay, so he's dead. That taken care of. Let's go ahead and go to, it looks like A side there, weak over there. That DD, if, if that DD dies, we've evened out the advantage that we lost with our DD dying in the opening three minutes. Actually, Aaron, you can fucking shoot him. You're paying attention. Definitely want HE for this shot, but AP should still do the trick. He's turning, he's on fire, and he's dead. Let's go ahead and switch back to AP. We have a little bit of a meme build on the Charles. It's it's a ship that you need to play, you know, like I said, at medium range, away from accurate battleships. Um, now this is definitely more of the quote unquote hipper playstyle, the agile playstyle. Um, you know, running around with top speed with a little bit of a rudder, which is fun and can be very effective for your team if played correctly. Now some people mistake that and play this at the the fucking one line. And, and have, you know, and are doing nothing for their team. But we weren't paying attention to position. And a Bismarck is now in front of us at nine kilometers. So he shot. Let's straighten up the turn. Those are going to land well, and they're landed short. Let's go ahead and do a full turn now. He should not get another shot off on a reload. We're obviously getting broadside here, but again, I don't think he's going to be getting and his guns are looking away because he knows. There is an Agato back here, too, we have to pay attention to. Okay, so our speed boost is gone. We're, we're regular speed now. So we need to be careful with our dodges and our turns. So we're a little more careful with our positioning. We won't, don't have that extra added bonus of, of speed to help us dodge. But in the meantime, let's harass battleships and try and support, yes, try and support our Bismarck. At the same time, we need to think about getting a cap or two. Uh, because our team has folded like cheap patio furniture. I mean, it's actually four on four, but no caps taken on either side. It's kind of the problem with shards, you know, B spawn, you get spotted right away, but. No fires yet, which is interesting RNG. He's coming towards me, I can't see. There we go, as soon as we talk about it, we get it. But target of opportunity, let's go ahead and it was a target of opportunity my mic is gonna die get that plugged in good work and ice now okay we're gonna play it risky here while I plug in my mic so it doesn't die on me give me a moment the battleship might be in our detection range as soon as we round this corner so we're gonna kite out a little bit more 
In the meantime, we're, we're giving our ship a, a chance to cap and, and, you know, damaging the enemy. In games like this, your job as a cruiser is, is literally just to, to distract and damage the enemy. Uh, the, we took out the destroyer with a, a nice salvo we weren't really paying attention to. The fire on the... Uh, Nagato is still ticking, which is nice. We get a wither. Let's go ahead and pop our speed boost. Get a reset potentially on this Bismarck. Let's go ahead. Abyss other Bismarck was spotted. We look for incoming shells. That's why I use overview camera. And in the opposite time, we look back. Yep, there they are. Knowing where the enemy ships are is... If you want to... Put yourself in the next level of gameplay is something you're going to have to do. Now, I kind of fucked up this turn here. So we're just going to stop, hope he, hoping that he misses. In the meantime, we can speed up and go forward while turning left. And he should. Yep. Avoid all shells. Playing with your throttle, playing with your steering is a great way to avoid enemy damage. But notice how we were in close proximity to these other ships and not 19 and a half kilometers away. So again, we need to worry about the Nagato. He's our biggest threat at the moment. And the Bismarck can broadside us, so we... Okay, he got in. Good. He put out that fire, so let's go ahead and put that on him. Set him on fire. Battleship player's putting out one fire. He shot at us, they rammed, and that's the game. Pretty boring game, not gonna lie. Um, it, you know, but this is an average game. This is my first game of the day, an average game, trying to get a video in. Uh, so, it, you know, it shows you what needs to be done and just the average game in order to win. There's a permanent fire. We're just gonna keep kiting, try and get the cap here and steal a little bit of XP. We'll go ahead and throw our plane up. He shot, so we turn out again. We're guessing, uh, yeah. That's a decent, decent aimed shot. Got us with one penetration there. Gonna just try and shoot before he goes behind the island, but he should, he should tick, and honestly, we might get a witherer here. Yeah, that shot wasn't gonna land. There's pretty high arc in these shells. A quick game, though, but honestly, this is what solo play is, has amounted to right now, is, is, um... It's just staying alive. Your biggest ally in these solo games is yourself. If you can avoid damage via a rudder build, via an agile build, whatever the fuck you want to call them, then you're doing yourself a favor. Now, putting ships like the Baltimore with rudder builds is, is a complete waste of the, the utilization of the ship, in my opinion. If you want to run it that way, that's fine. With That's, you know, run it that way. Um, but I don't think that, that that build will necessarily be yielding you the best results. Now, a ship with a speed boost and an already accurate or an already fast rudder shift, you, you will be giving yourself a little bit of an advantage, you know, giving it a few more modifications. Now, just as just like me specking everything into guns, as someone said, specking everything into your rudder is, to me, is also, you know, not necessarily the most effective. Like, we have a few perks for guns and then a few perks for rudder. Their fire RNG is not necessarily... There we go. So you just have to speak bad. You, spe you have to speak ill of RNG, and she gives you what she wants. Uh, are we gonna get the cap? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh, we can get the cap. Get that XP. Unless he's still burning. He's not. Pop the hydro just for, for giggles. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna shoot before I get the cap. GG. One hundred seven thousand two kills. A few defends again. Nothing super impressive. I might put this video up on YouTube anyway, just to show you guys what an average game is. And if we look at the scoreboard, I'm guessing it's going to be. 
yeah, uh, very easy to do well solo uh, and get top placement on the board. Now, is this a game that is going to, I'm going to be able to clickbait and say, oh my god, hard carry, blah, blah, blah. No, but by knowing the basics of your ship, the basics of the game and playing, you know, supporting your team and reading the map, mini map awareness. I didn't abandon my spawn. I didn't chase damage as somebody claimed in my Conquer game. If you thought I chased damage in that game, you have no concept or understanding of the game. But regardless of that, I did what needed to be done in order to win, and that is what 90% of players fail to realize, is they think it's about damage, they think it's about dev strikes, they think it's about XP, and while I do like a nice XP total and a win, it, the importance of the game is getting a win. Now, if you want to sail around and kind of meme and all that stuff, that's fine. I, I recommend AI for that, but um, you know, as long as you're playing with the correct concepts, getting caps, defending caps, shooting at destroyers when they're spotted, now, now, to be fair, I didn't even see that that Fletcher was in the, uh, in my, like, I thought he was behind the island. I wasn't paying attention. Um, but I, as soon as I recognized it, we shot at him immediately and got him off the board. Um, so, so those are a few simple basics and simple strategies that any player, good, bad, indifferent, can utilize and work on to improve their gameplay. Um... And on top of that, let's go ahead and show you our build for this one. The Charles Martel is a very good ship. It's not utilized as much, and like we said, we have um, range and then HE shell chance as well as speed. Velocious here and steer clear with refill station. Fully packed is kind of useless in my opinion. We have Mimbelli, which I could replace for speed as well, as well as Baltimore to get that rudder nice and nice and quote unquote agile, as uh, as Hipper likes to say. Uh, and, and playing this way, you can, like I said, can net you some very good results. But you, you have to realize it's about the win. It's about shooting the most available ship or the ship that needs to be shot and not about kiting to the back of the map trying to get 500,000 damage in terms of, you know, HE or 500,000 damage period. So that's my message for the day. Uh, I'm going to start, you know, I, I kind of return to these videos instead of just posting my 500,000, you know, my high damage replays that a lot of you guys like to see. Um, you know, of course, if I get a good replay like that, I'm going to show it uh, because people like do like watching those games. But I, you know, I, I want to go back to the basics to help, you know, I guess the new viewer, the newer viewer that uh, hasn't been around a long time for my channel to to help improve their game. So, you know, like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if, what you guys thought of that one. First game of the day, a run out. Peace.